Riding an e-bike can make even the toughest terrains feel manageable, but not all motors work the same way. Some offer smart features like adjusting power based on your pedal pressure, while others focus on being lightweight for easier handling. These differences can completely change your biking experience, whether you're climbing steep hills or cruising over tricky trails. Today, we'll take a closer look at the Bosch Performance Line CX Gen 5 and the Bafang M820 to help you decide which motor is the right choice for you. We'll cover everything from their performance specs to their features. So, whether you're a seasoned e-bike rider or just starting out, watch to learn more about these two powerful motors and make an informed decision about which one is the best fit for your needs. Let's start with power and torque, two critical factors in e-bike performance. The Bosch Performance Line, CX Gen 5, delivers 85 newton meters of torque and up to 600 watts of peak motor power. This system provides 340% pedaling assistance, giving you the extra push needed for steep climbs or rough terrain. Its EMTB mode adjusts power based on your pedaling force, ensuring smooth and responsive assistance. Whether you're navigating rocky trails or steep inclines, Bosch offers control with features like extended boost and hill start assist. On the other hand, the Bafang M820 is lighter, weighing just 2.3 kilograms, but it still packs a punch. It offers 75 newton meters of torque and a rated power of 250 watts, making it suitable for a variety of bikes, including E-Road and EMTB. The motor's torque sensor is finely tuned to match your pedaling force, ensuring precise and efficient power delivery. While it has slightly lower torque compared to Bosch, its lightweight design makes it ideal for riders looking for a balanced and agile setup. Battery capacity and charging speed often determine how far and fast you can go. Bosch provides two new battery options, the PowerTube 600 and PowerTube 800. As their names suggest, these offer 600 watt-hours and 800 watt-hours of energy, respectively. The larger battery weighs 3.9 kilograms, while the smaller one is slightly lighter at 3 kilograms. Both batteries are designed to integrate seamlessly into the bike frame and are part of Bosch's smart system, which enhances connectivity and efficiency. The switch to 2170 cells means longer rides and faster charging. Bafang takes a different approach with its compact batteries. The F01 4410C offers 410 watt hours and weighs 2.6 kilograms, while the F050 B360C provides 360 watt hours at 2.2 kilograms. These batteries are smaller and lighter, catering to riders who prioritize maneuverability over extended range. While they may not match Bosch in capacity, they are perfect for compact bikes designed for quick, efficient rides. The right riding mode can make your e-bike feel like an extension of your body. Both Bosch and Bafang provide multiple options, but they cater to different needs. Bosch offers four main modes, Eco, Tour Plus, EMTB, and Turbo. The Eco mode is great for conserving battery life, making it ideal for longer rides where efficiency matters. If you're tackling a mix of flat and hilly terrain, the Tour Plus mode adjusts assistance dynamically to match your effort. This means you get the help you need without draining the battery too quickly. The EMTB mode is one of Bosch's standout features. It responds instantly to changes in your pedaling pressure, providing more power when you need it and less when you don't. This is especially useful for mountain bikers who face unpredictable terrain. The turbo mode delivers maximum assistance for those moments when you need a strong boost, such as steep climbs or sprints. Bafang takes a slightly different approach. It offers five pedal assist levels, ranging from light assistance to full power. This setup gives riders more flexibility to fine tune their experience based on their needs. For example, a lower level can save battery during easy sections, while a higher level provides maximum support for tough climbs. One of Bafang's unique features is its throttle mode, which allows you to power the bike without pedaling. This can be a lifesaver when you're tired or need a quick burst of speed. However, it's worth noting that the throttle uses more battery power, so riders need to monitor their charge carefully. Bafang also includes a zero mode, which disables motor assistance entirely. This is great for riders who want to rely solely on leg power, whether for exercise or battery conservation. 
the option to switch between modes easily makes Bafang's system user-friendly and adaptable. How do these motors perform in real-world conditions? Bosch focuses on delivering a seamless riding experience. The motor's quiet operation, combined with its two-bolt mounting system, makes it easier to install and compatible with various bike frames. Enhanced internal components reduce noise, especially when riding downhill. Bosch also includes hill hold and ABS Pro features for improved stability and braking performance on steep descents. Bafang, meanwhile, emphasizes efficiency and agility. Its narrower Q factor aligns the pedals closer together, improving energy transfer and making pedaling feel more natural. The magnesium casing not only reduces weight, but also minimizes vibrations, ensuring a smoother ride. The system's compact design is perfect for bikes that need to balance performance and portability. Both systems cater to different bike designs and rider needs. The Bosch Performance Line CX Gen 5 is highly versatile. Its two-bolt mounting system works with various frames, and its compatibility with the smaller Performance Line SX motor allows manufacturers to use similar designs across their e-bike ranges. The e-bike flow app lets riders customize riding modes, offering a personalized experience. Bafang's M820 is designed with specific use cases in mind. It works seamlessly with EMTB, E-Road, and E-Gravel bikes, making it a solid choice for performance-focused riders. The motor integrates well with Bafang's C263 and C03ZCA displays, providing clear data and Bluetooth connectivity. However, it lacks some advanced customization features found in Bosch's system. So, which system is better? If you're looking for power, control, and cutting-edge features, Bosch's Performance Line CX Gen 5 stands out. It's perfect for riders who need high torque, smart connectivity, and advanced safety features for demanding terrains. However, if you prioritize a lightweight design, efficiency, and affordability, the Bafang M820 is an excellent choice. It caters to riders who prefer a straightforward system that's easy to handle and performs well in a variety of scenarios. Ultimately, the decision depends on your riding style and what you value most in an e-bike drive system. That's all about the Bosch Performance Line, CX Gen 5, and Bafang M820. We hope this breakdown helps you choose the right motor for your next adventure. Let us know your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more in-depth e-bike comparisons. Ride safe.